Casper Genie is absolutely adorable. I feel like I say that about most Casper cartoons, but it's true. This was released in 1954. It's directed by Seymour Nightle and Tom Golden. It's written by Isidore Klein with a voice cast including Jack Mercer, Mae Questel, Sid Raymond and Alan Shea. And there won't be any spoilers in this discussion, but I'll mention the basic premise and then share some thoughts. Casper, once again, just wants some friends and he happens to be passing the window where a little boy is in his bedroom and he's reading a book about Aladdin. And he's reading about the genie and the little boy turns to the lamp on his bedside and gives the, the lamp a rub and Casper sees the opportunity to be the genie and he slithers up the lamp and appears as the genie. I love the shape of him. He doesn't look too different from himself, but in a way he kind of looks a little bit more like the Casper that we go on to know and love with the more tapered tail. And I do love that design, so I thought that was pretty cool. And the little boy, of course, thinks he's a real genie and he grants the little boy some wishes. The wishes are not the most straightforward, but Casper does his very best. I will explain one of the wishes because I, I I wasn't sure how he was going to manage it and I was impressed. So I'll discuss that in a moment. It's not really a spoiler, but I'll I'll give a spoiler warning just in case you don't want to know any specifics. And then something happens to the lamp and it's up to Casper to save the day. And I'll say no more at the moment, but it's a very sweet story. The characters are really likable. And actually, that was one moment that absolutely melted my heart. And it is a, well, again, it's not really a spoiler, but it kind of is. So I'll discuss that in a second. But I found this to be really delightful. The characters are really likable. Of course, Casper is very likable. The animation is gorgeous. And I really thoroughly enjoyed this one. Fun concept, very well executed narrative, beautiful, beautiful animation. So I now will, with a spoiler warning, mention a few things that I, I rather enjoyed. One thing happens quite early on, one thing happens right at the end. So these are spoilers, I guess. And the first one is when the little boy asks for ice cream. And Casper the genie goes to get ice cream and he floats through the wall of an ice cream parlor. And he makes this giant ice cream. And my first thought was, how is he getting it out of there? Are they going to just push logic aside and he's going to be able to float through the wall with the ice cream. I wasn't wanting that. And that didn't happen. Casper did realise that he could go back out the wall, but the ice cream couldn't come with him. And I genuinely, for a couple of seconds, I had no idea what he was going to do. He went up the chimney. <laughs> I found that to be really delightful. He went out of the chimney with the ice cream. And the other bit that I loved is right at the very end, when Casper is tucked up in bed with the little boy and he just looks so cute and adorable and squishy and it was it was precious. I really enjoyed this one. I thought Casper Genie was a lovely story, beautiful animation and definitely one that I really thoroughly enjoyed. If you haven't seen it or if you just don't remember it and you're a fan of Casper, Casper Genie is one that's definitely worth watching. 